Hello guys, uh, today I would like to present uh, a JavaScript uh, which will help you resize, automatically resize images on your websites or forums. Uh, it's uh, standard JavaScript, uh, to be more specific, it's uh, jQuery and it's very light, very simple and very effective. It will allow you to auto resize all images or just uh, some specific set of images in, in some section of your website. Uh, so you can have more control of uh, uh, what, for example, people people uh, upload to your to your site, right? Uh, the idea uh, of resi automatic resizing websites is uh, especially good for forums. So uh, when people are browsing some forums, uh, talking there, uploading images, they don't really care what what. Uh, size of the image they are up up uploading, right? Uh, because uh, you, sometimes it's uh, uh, some image that they found on the internet, or it's their image, but they have no uh, do, not, do not have tools to actually control the size of it. So uh, sometimes people upload things that are simply too large, and they destroy the layout of your website or your f or your forum. So. Uh, uh, let me show you example forum. Uh, I want the following behavior. So I'm entering some topic and there I have a picture and this picture fits perfectly to the forum. When I uh, open this uh, image somewhere else, yeah, I can see that the, the full size of this image. So if there was no automatic re uh, resizing of this image, uh, it will be displayed in its full size on the forum and it will act automatically break the layout but it doesn't so it fits perfectly everything is cool and uh, I will show you the script which is very small very light and very efficient you, you will not have to install any mods uh, you will just have to uh, you will just use the script and it will uh, I, well, I like it I personally like it so uh, let me let me just uh, show you one uh, thing. I did prepare some basic uh, website. Uh, let's say it's, uh, let's call it a prototype. It's uh, it has very limited functionality. All it does is uh, it uh, implements a script that resizes the, uh, the images on the website, and uh, it contains just one uh, HTML node uh, with uh, an image. As you can see, this image has no specified uh, dimensions and this script will automatically resize this image uh, regardless of its size. So, uh, let me... This is the website, right? This is this file. Uh, uh, and as you can see, the image is uh, perfectly resized so it's smaller uh, again when I when I'll copy the address and open just the image it's uh, I don't know it's, I think it's uh, 1024 in width and uh, 768 in height so uh, we are resizing in how and how do you do that uh, okay so this is this uh, uh, prototype HTML website uh, we are using jQuery so all you have to do you have to put there the reference or to the jQuery library right and you have to you can embed your uh, script within the website or you can do it just like me you put the reference here to your script and it's, I think it's more elegant and uh, the content of website is whatever you want it doesn't uh, it can be forum it can be some corporate website uh, you just uh, need to specify eventually if you if you don't want to process all images on the website you specify in which section you want to the images to be resized in my case uh, I uh, made up my mind to resize images only in the in the div with ID container okay so let me let me show you the script it's very simple uh, it's jQuery, so uh, in case of this uh, file, uh, everything, as you can see, is uh, performed when the page is uh, ready. 
and there are two scripts they are actually two identical scripts uh, uh, but there is a reason for that because uh, if I am using only each uh, it doesn't properly work in in the Chrome web browser and if I just use load it doesn't properly work in the Firefox it works properly in Firefox when uh, with just load when you refresh the page but uh, when you enter the page for the first time it will not work so uh, combination of these two is uh, let's say uh, bulletproof it's it's uh, best uh, it's best okay uh, so they are there are two identical scripts the difference is just uh, uh, when the page is loaded this one loops through all images on your website in that case not all images because you specify in jQuery way which uh, images you want to process if it was all images I would just put it like this but in my case I decide that I want to uh, perform this action for all images within uh, DIV uh, with ID container right and the second one simplifiers when the image uh, is loaded uh, or in that case uh, image but it can be also some other HTML element okay so uh, it's very simple so you you just uh, define the maximum width of the image uh, you can of course change it to whatever you want right uh, let's see it's automatically bigger when you re uh, refresh and uh, you define variables uh, the uh, this in that case of course is the image HTML node and is the image object from from your page and in case uh, the image uh, dimensions and uh, the width is bigger than the maximum that you have specified uh, it calculates the ratio and uh, with ratio calculated we multiply uh, the dimensions to receive the dimensions that fit our page right these parts of code are uh, commented because I just wanted to show you that uh, you actually have two ways of uh, resizing the image one way like here is to work directly on image attrib HTML attributes with of width and height and the second way which I personally prefer is to operate on uh, CSS attributes so this script performs an action on your image node it uh, simply reads the image size and then uh, updates CSS with these values when I open my website uh, let me find it this is it All right uh, when I want to look at at this uh, Im you can see that there's this style height and width defined and these are the values that have been put there by the by the script uh, if I let's say if uh, let's say I will just uh, put a wrong name here so the website actually doesn't use the script and refresh the image is so shown in full dimension and as you can see there there is no no styles here because the this script actually adds the style right so this is how it works it's very simple so as you can see only two methods fired on when the page is ready uh, it would be perfect it, it it was enough to have just one method but uh, I put two because of the differences uh, between uh, web browsers how they react to these scripts and all you have to do you just have to put the reference to the jQuery and put the script within your script and put the reference uh, to it or embed this uh, script uh, in your website and you can put it anywhere you want on the forum like here on your website and uh, on other websites uh, and of course you can control what what images uh, you want to be resized by uh, let's say controlling the pool of images that it uh, actually influences so you can use DIVs uh, to define different sections on your website and uh, maybe even specify different dimensions for different sections right so that's it 
uh, I wanted to share with you guys with this script because I think <laughs> uh, that it's it's just great because of its simplicity and uh, the possibilities that jQuery gives us and I will I will put the link to the package with this prototype uh, website uh, at the bottom of this vid uh, video so thanks for watching and yeah see you guys